Hey everyone, so today is going to be a quite interesting tutorial. It's been asked a lot of times uh, and I decided to finally do it. So uh, you may look at my screen and you're going to see this whole pixel mapping. You're going to be like, oh yeah, it's probably going to be about pixel mapping. Well, it sort of is and it's not. It's actually about the input data through CAMSYS. So I will show you how to run the data through completely through, transparently through, that means the, the magic is not going to affect it. And I'll show you a few other things where you can work with the merging signal. And uh, like I'll show you differences between few modes. So I will make a separate video tutorial where I'll show you how to work with um, with a product like media server products like uh, uh, Resolume, sending the video data through uh, through the magic queue onto the fixtures or onto the panels. So without further ado, Let's, let's start. So, on the screen you can see I patched uh, 100 uh, Maverick MK2 washers. They may not look exactly the same in real life, but I just want to show you basically the, the, the techniques that I'm using. So, on the main screen I'm using the, my Mac and my Mac is running the, the uh, Magic Q and I, I put uh, 10 fixtures, uh, 100 fixtures and they are uh, they're like uh, I made the grid out of them 10 by 10 and basically I'm feeding this whole data from another magic queue so I can show you now look at the second screen now so in my screen you can see it's my actually my uh, chase is running of the pixel mapper so I can switch it off and I can switch it back on again and you will be able to see that it's activating actual data on other system. So how did I do that? Basically, uh, this technique is going to help you in those situations when you set everything up on the magic queue and you have someone coming with a different board and what they want is they want to run the data through your console. So in the scenario one, they just want to run the data through some of the universes intact. So that means uh, the magic queue is not going to control them at that moment and the other console will. So for example if some other console on some other console they program some nice pixel mapping and they want to run it from it. So by all means I will show you how to do it. So first of all you have to set up the network between them. So again IP addressing is the key. So I will be showing you how, how I'm running uh, magic queue into the magic queue and uh, merging uh, like sort of uh, using the uh, like sort of merging signal and also running as an input signal and in the same case uh, you can use any other systems but better to use magic queue obviously cool so what we need here is following so on the main console uh, on the main system set up the IP addressing so I can show you if I go to the setup network and you can see IP address 200150 and the subnet mask 255000. If you're on a PC version, always double check, double click, and you choose the right adapter that you need to use with the right IP address. Okay, so you've done it on the main system. Obviously, I patched 100 moving lights uh, onto my system here. So if you go to the patch, you will be able to see they're all patched as usual, no changes here whatsoever. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to run the very same 100 uh, fixtures patched on the other magic queue and I've done the pixel mapping on them and I'm running basically on the fixtures. So um, yeah, this is how you do it. So on the other system, let's go on the other system. So on this system what I did is I patched I patched uh, 100 fixtures, again same, Chauvet, Maverick, MK2 wash, basic in a basic mode, just use the basic channels. And what I did as well, so in, if you want to, of course in other systems probably it's going to be the pixel map has been set up, but all I did was following. So um, yeah, if I press view grid, you can see that the grid has been done for me, so 10 by 10, I'm happy with that. So all I did here, because we've got a simple pixel mapper, I've selected my pixel mapper, I press add effect, pixel map, square, and I've used the intensity channel for that. As soon as I run it, then if you look at my, if you run the visualizer, you will be able to actually preview it. So if you go to the output window and you close this, you will be able to actually see how the channels are working in the pixel mapper. That's perfectly what we need.
The colors are selected by using the color attribute. So if you have the fixture selected and you set as red, and then you look in the output view, you'll see them all working as red. So it's fairly basic and fairly simple to use. So this is working now. So the trick here isn't following. Let me just quickly go back to the, uh, to the main system and I will show you where to look at. So basically in the main system, if you press setup and then you go to the view DMX input output, you will see my universes. So I have 12 lines and the output type is set as universes 0, 1, 2, 3 and all the way to 11. And uh, if you don't know how to set it up, so basically you'll select the universes, click here and you can set your type of the output universe. So we need Artnet. And then the trick is in the input type you have to select, you can select Artnet, you can select Streaming ACN. So we just go back here, pardon me. We have to select here as Artnet and the trick is the input universes, the one that's going to be coming with the data in should be different to the ones that you're using for out. So the sh it should not clash. If you're going to use the same universe type, say 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, with the data coming in, you're going to have a clash. So that means the console is going to see data coming through at the same time data coming out. So it's going to be a clash. So what you need to do is, you see I've used 0 to 11, I've used to out. So for the in, you just select the universes like that. You type 12. You can use the keyboard here, 12, and press enter. And like in Excel spreadsheet, it's going to make 12, 13, 14 consecutively your 12 universes. Then you have to look at the next option because what we're doing is we're basically bypassing the whole universe and we're just sending all the data through to that universe. So we don't want to merge, we don't want to choose specific channels, we just want to run through the whole universe. So in that case, you select your four inputs, I'm using just four universes, see? And in the test column, you click here, normally you should have none, you click here and you choose the option as input. So when you choose the option as input, that means the data coming through universe 12 will be going directly through the universe uh, through the Artnet universe 0, bypassing any programming. What it means is, if I'll select here fixtures on my the Mac and I'll press locate you can see nothing is happening you can press the buttons you can do whatever you want you can you can try to play with uh, uh, with um, uh, with the colors anything nothing is gonna happen the reason is because your data is actually coming from external systems so it's bypassing it completely altogether so um, on how to set it up on the other system. So let's look on the other system. Okay, so on this system, the, the external system that sends the signal, in our case is the Magic Q, what you have to do is you have to go to the DMX settings. Again, IP address set, all correct. You go to the view DMX input output and you have to, on your first four universes, these universes, that to, for you to use the for out, you actually have to select them and set them starting from 12. Like like on the main system, I said what's coming as 12 is converting to zero. So basically, the outputting universes here are 12, and when they're received on the main console, they will be converted to universe zero. That's pretty much it. What you have to do on the uh, on the external system, the one that's going to send the signals to you, yeah, and then you can program your stuff or run your playbacks. And the data is going to go through from the from the uh, from the uh, the external system. And now, if we look on the main system, we will be able to see actually what's happening. So, if you press out window, and you do not see anything here, you have to make sure that you have the view plan selected. Yeah. Then you go to the view heads, and you need to make sure that the view input selected. So when you press view input selected, you will be able to see what's actually happening, what data is coming through. And now if you go to the view plan, you will be able to preview everything that's happening from external that's affecting your fixtures and going through your console. So 
this is how you run the data through completely the whole universe is through so that means all the modifications everything is going to be controlled from external system in a separate video I will show you how to then merge the signal how to like a, how to merge them individually per channel or how to merge them all together and uh, how to then combine not just with the with the lighting console but also with the media server running data through hope it was useful and if you have any more questions feel free to ask subscribe to our channel Camsys uh, Campsys official, uh, re official and also Campsys RUS. So thank you very much and have a lovely day. Bye bye.